my god! Wow! What? Is that you? Yeah, you. Subscribe. Alright, so welcome to a game that I found. It's really, really neat game, really fun game. Burrito by Sound. And I have time traveled. I have a 25 times multiplier, 25, 20 roughs, 6 buff out upgrades, and no uh, extra starting money stuff. So, I just want to show you guys this game. It's really fun. I like it at least. Music is pretty nice as well. Hey, and look for pinatas. Uh, I'm gonna watch an ad for the three pinatas. It was the same ad that I get a lot of times, so all I have to do is just spam up them pinatas. You get these four cards. And you get the coins, you just or you get the chest, you just get them automatically. Like, you just get some coins. So, watch my coins, I'm at 249,000. Uh, if I get coins, it will show it. See, ready? I'm, now I'm at 312,000. So, you just get the coins. Personally, what I like... Now, this aerodynamics is really hard to get. It's the one where you have to go to Rift 14 and then time travel. It is a hard one to get. Like, full base boosted volume or something like that. Oh my gosh, I got like no damage from even with the Takarazi. So I'm just time travel, like I said, so I'm like just starting it basically, but 25 times faster. <laughs> no, that can't, that won't happen for you guys because you don't have the. Uh, cake, cake ground slam thingy. It's okay. No, I have, I have stuff in a question mark, question mark, question mark shop thing, and so if stuff looks different, that's it's from the question mark, question mark, question mark shop. I'll show you guys what it is on next time, and I will, at the end of the episode, whenever I want to, I will do something that will confuse you guys. A chili bomb. Yay! Let me. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna watch enough for a pinata right now. So you got all that. You got that. Now we have some more missions to do. Basically, I have missions now. 1.3 times. That the second thing you only have when you time travel. And my new band is called Six Kill. If you want to see part two, hit the like button. So we are about to hit. Okay, we got. Hopefully that counts. I can't see. Uh, yes, that does count. Okay, nice. Oh, look at him eat that cake. You should be cake delicious. Huh. <laughs> now the upgrades they go like super slowly, but like it's not like that big of a difference, but it really stacks up over time. Now we get the chest, we get some coins from it. It's the right amount. It's the same amount from just landing on a raw bear thing. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, we got a quest. We got a quest, which is nice. And then we... No, you won't have this pineapple thingy for a while. But the next one, it takes you like way longer to get it as well so you're only gonna have that first guy for a while I right, got Takarazi and uh, 150,000 coins that's all right, all right. yeah it's all right all right so now we 
go here. Uh, I totally recommend for you guys to upgrade these three things and pickpocket as soon as you can. Like, don't like save up for it, but when you can't afford it, just buy it because you get is basically spending money to make more money, basically. And also, you can make money faster. And do that, you can buy more stuff faster. I think that's the fast way to do it. And also, this guy is the last guy you will knock. You have to go to uh, zone 5, I think, to knock him, or zone 4. So, like, it's a while to get him. It takes a bit of grinding. See, I bounced a bit higher. Yeah. If you go over that, you come down wrapping gummy clouds, and it looks pretty cool. But that might be into a bit wire. Wire three million nine hundred of that four million. That's that's actually a lot. Oh, uh, pickpocket. Uh, Gumdalf, whatever you call it. Uh, speedometer. Or I want to do a stopwatch mode on this, just see how it goes. Yoink. Okay, I'm not gonna tell. Fifty-eight speed. Oh my god. Forty-three. I really like ten speed. Forty-five. Thirty. 15, 8, see I'm at, I'm at 8 speed, I, instead of losing 15 speed, I only lost 7, and I'm, and I was at 8, you can't go underneath 8, so like I promised for the finale, I'll, that's my last run for recording, I'm going to turn on the rainbow thing, and this thing, <laughs> hmm, if this, if this is gonna be so confusing to me, I'm gonna have to do this, yeah, This is weird already, right? This is weird already. Oh, I got Wormy Boy. No! Rain to a cake wall is gone. Oh. Guys, I'm confused, so don't like say anything about it. If I'm doing worse, I'm just so confused about it. Oh. Ah, so weird. It is so weird. Oh. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. So you can't even see him again. I didn't even earn that much coins from it. I guess I was going in front of the west side. Right, I'm gonna turn that thing off. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, uh, so this is another episode, but I want to show you these recipes. Uh, uh, show best with the sweet salsa for you guys. Um, so these are recipes you can actually make them with your actual recipes for slightly sweet salsa. One can diced tomatoes with liquid. One can tomato sauce. Celery, bell pepper, I think that can be any color. Two onions, garlic, hot peppers, cup of apple cider vinegar. I haven't heard that. Cup lime, ha quarter cup lime juice, fresh cilantro, cup, one third cup sugar, one tablespoon of salt. Yes, we can get salty boy. Um, put large pot, mix mayo, tomato sauce, celery, onions, garlic, bell pepper, and hot peppers together. Bring to a boil and cook for five minutes until onions are translucent. Add the sugar, salt, vinegar, lime juice, and cilantro. Show them medium low and stir for 45 minutes. And the salsa has reduced and thickened the taste. Let the salsa cool down when you bring out the flavor. Serve with tortilla chips, tacos, fajitas, quesadillas, and cheese, or obviously burritos. So that's why it's your salsa. Then you got rustic guacamole. We actually made this, um, it's actually pretty good. You need three of avocados, tomato, pulp removed, and season pulp removed. Green onions, two lime, the juice, a bunch of half, bunch of cilantro. So pepper, a couple of drops of your favorite hot sauce. That's that's like optional, it just gives it more flavor. Put the avocado, remove the seeds, scoop out the flesh of the spoon and place it into a large bowl. Roughly mash it. Get it chunky. Then add literally all the other ingredients. And except for the two taste things, and that is cilantro, salt, pepper, and favorite hot sauce. And then you can just adjust that. 
Oh, circle, circle, detour, Tila. I haven't, I haven't read this one yet. Oh, so it was Minas. And we haven't tried this as well. Two cans, 20 ounces, dry tomato, diced tomatoes that look good. 8 to 10 medium corn tortillas, sliced in strips. And then an ounce, 270 grams of mild cheddar, grated. Two red avocados, one big onion, big onion, okay? Don't get like those teeny tiny ones, get a big one. Clove garlic, two cups of chicken broth, half bunch of cilantro, to taste. Like, you, that means like it's optional how much you want. You can literally put like a little bit to a lot. And two for helping you. And orange sauce, pan, cook the onions and garlic in a bit of oil, medium heat until onions are translucent. Add the tomatoes and chicken broth, salt and pepper to taste. Cover and simmer medium low for 30 minutes. While the soup is cooking, fry the tortilla strips in some oil until the crispy and lightly golden. Set aside on a paper towel to remove excess oil. In a small bowl, put some avocado, cilantro, cheese, jalapeno slices, and tortilla strips. Cover with a big lady of sopa. Devour and repeat. So that is that. I haven't got a Flavos Ranch Rose Express yet. It is super expensive. It tastes a lot of corn. You get that one. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, polls. I can't believe it's still here. Uh, goal 150 before the end of the year. And I'll wrap it up. I will see you guys uh, next week on uh, Saturday again. I'm not going to upload for a weekday.